Iran's drone program operates a variety of unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. The backbone of their UAV program is the Shad 129, a large-sized armed drone, visually similar to the American General Atomics MQ-1 Predator, though the Predator is a vastly more capable platform. While the earlier, presumable first-generation, Shad 129s had a thinner, more pencil-shaped fuselage, the newer models have a distinctly Predator-like nose bulge, presumably to accommodate a synthetic aperture radar antenna, a higher-resolution radar system, or perhaps a link for satellite-based navigation. The early model Shad 129s, and possibly the newer models as well, were limited not so much by fuel capacity as by their data link capacity. The United States MQ-1 Predators can be operated from virtually anywhere in the world, while the Shad 129 is reliant on a ground operator. If true, dependence on a ground-based controller would likely limit the Shad 129's range to 200 to 400 kilometers, 125 to 250 miles. In 2015, a Shad 129 crashed near the Iran-Pakistan border. This early model Shad may have flown outside of the ground-based controller's range or run out of fuel. Photos of the downed drone showed what appeared to be two or possibly four hardpoints for bombs and or missile attachment. Although Iranian drones have usually taken an observational role rather than a direct action stance, Iranian drone capabilities have slowly been shifting towards an offensive ground attack role. Iran's drones have been wreaking havoc in the Middle East. This video shows a Shad 129 taking off and retracting its landing gear. Back in February of 2016, an Iranian drone, presumably a Shad 129, was seen with what appeared to be a missile similar to what has been seen in Iranian state media. Several Shad 129s made an appearance in Syria's civil war again in 2017, two of which were shot down by American F-15s. One of the drones was apparently able to drop ordnance on or near Syrian fighters before it was shot down. In 2016, an Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, Air Force commander implied that Iran was in the process of upgrading its drone fleet in order to end its reliance on ground-based controllers towards a satellite-based system. This may be the reason for the nose bulges seen in the newer model Shahid 129s. If claims about GPS-navigable Shad 129s are credible, then Iran presumably has the ability to use GPS navigation in tandem with other weapon systems, namely ballistic weapons. If true, this lessens the technological military advantage of both regional adversaries, Israel, and those of the United States. This tech could be exported to Iran's regional allies like Hezbollah in Lebanon, Yemen, or indeed to Syria, where this has presumably already happened. Caleb Larson is a defense writer with the national interest. He holds a Master of Public Policy and covers US and Russian security, European defense issues, and German politics and culture. In September 2012, two years after introducing the Karar Iran unveiled the Shad 129, witness a substantive step forward in terms of Iran's effort to develop a strike-capable combat UAV. Up until that point, Iran's drone fleet consisted exclusively of smaller aircraft with short ranges and flight endurance. This was largely due to sanctions and export control regimes preventing Iran from acquiring technologically sophisticated dual-use components for larger, more lethal drones, as such components would set off alarm bells.
Iran sought to manufacture as many of its drones as it could domestically and was able to get the components it needed, such as German Limbach engines, from arms brokers for a markup or through schemes such as establishing front companies which would ship components to IAIO with fraudulent shipping labels. By 2012, Iran claimed to have made advances in its indigenous engine production capabilities and the rollout of the Shad 129, that September seemed to confirm this, although Iranian officials almost certainly exaggerated the new drone's capabilities. The Shad 129 is a medium-altitude long-endurance, male, unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCA, with combat, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance CISR, functionality. It is believed to be modeled after the Israeli Hermes 450, a drone that Iran had previously claimed to have captured and potentially reverse-engineered. IRGC officials boasted that the Shad 129 had a range of 1700 kilometers, a flight endurance of 24 hours, and was capable of carrying up to eight SATA guided air-to-ground missiles. By late 2015, however, Iran made a series of upgrades to the Shad 129 which enabled it to fulfill its potential as a combat UAV capable of delivering air-to-ground missiles. Because of procurement issues due to sanctions, Iran's research and development into the SADD-1 was not completed as of 2016 and the missile was not integrated or operationally deployed with the Shad 129. Iran instead developed a new munition, the SADD-345, a precision-guided glide bomb, which became the Shad 129's primary weapon. In February 2016, Iran also unveiled an upgraded version of the Shad 129 with which Iran claimed had satellite navigation capabilities, a claim which, if true, would increase the drone's operational range and reduce reliance on ground control operators, marking a big leap forward for Iran's drone program. As Iran has, at times, struggled to successfully launch satellites, however, this claim is dubious. By late 2015, Iran carried out its first air-to-ground strikes using the Shad 129 in Syria, demonstrating for the first time in combat that Iranian Yukovs were capable of air-to-ground missile strikes. Iran notes that the Shad 129 is additionally used for reconnaissance and patrolling its territorial and maritime borders. It is known to use the Shad 129 to patrol along its border with Pakistan and Sistan and Balochistan province, an area known for drug smuggling and home to an armed separatist movement. <laughs>